the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2015 Nobel Prize in Chemistry jointly to Thomas Lindahl, Paul Modrich and Aziz Sanyar for mechanistic studies of DNA repair. In every single cell in our body, we have genetic material that encodes for the creation of a human being. Normally in the DNA you have base pairs between C and G, two different bases. But sometimes what happens is that the C breaks down and forms a U instead. Thomas speculated there must be a repair system and he went out to search for it. What this, this system can do is that it can recognize the U in the DNA, it can flip it out and take it away and then via a number, uh, set of other reactions, replace the U with the correct C again. DNA mutation may also arise during DNA replication, which is the process when the genetic material is copied. On very rare occasions, one in a million, there is actually uh, uh, an error introduced. There is a base coming in that shouldn't be there. Our second Nobel Prize laureate, Paul Modrich, he has spent his life trying to figure out how these mismatches, how they are corrected. He has found a system which we now know as the mismatch repair system. And what these proteins can do is that they can recognize a mismatch. You see this red blue thing here is supposed to be a mismatch. And then you cleave the newly synthesized strand and you take away the piece of DNA co containing the mismatch. And then the DNA is synth synthesized again and we get the correct strand. Finally, we can also get damage to our DNA due to external <coughs> sources like UV light. Uh, Aziz Sanyar has uh, investigated how one can take away this type of UV induced damages in DNA. And he has identified the components and characterized the mechanisms of what we, know now, what we now know as nucleotide excision repair. Together, our uh, three Nobel Prize laureates this year have explained basic mechanisms, basic cellular mechanisms at the molecular level that help to guard the integrity of our genomes.